How's it going everyone? Today I have for you the Christmas Coffee House corner building from Laws Mini. It's set number 1054 and has 2056 pieces. Now I know I'm probably a little late with a Christmas set uh, being that it's February and all but we just took down some Christmas decorations last weekend so it made me want to build uh, one of the Christmas sets that I never got around to. So here we go. If you're unfamiliar with Laws it is the mini bricks are about half as big in volume. So this is a pretty cool building from Laws Mini. It is a corner building, but it's not really modular. Like it doesn't really necessarily connect to like the ancient street or the Chinatown or uh, like the tree house or anything like that. As you can see, the back two sides are fairly detailed and even hang over a little bit on some of the bricks and have like some openings for viewports and stuff like that. So it's not really designed to fully integrate into the other buildings, uh, but it really looks good as a standalone piece, kind of in a Christmas village or something like that. So taking a closer look, you can see that the set is packed full of details. That's one thing I really like about the Laws mini sets that they just have so many details, a lot of times a lot more than the Lego sets. And as you can see, there is tons of snow just on this building and kind of melting down. They do a good job with some icicles and just curved pieces to make it look like the snow is kind of melting. And this building is modular, so the floors come off really easily, as you would expect. On the first floor, we have a nice sidewalk going all the way around it with a Christmas tree front and center. There's a little bench and a mailbox with a bus stop lamp post on the side. And you see there's a set of stairs going up on the inside to the second floor. Around the other side we have a set of exterior stairs with some logs underneath and a side door to the toy shop. Really like the cat sitting on the stairs there and just like the wreath on the front door. On the back side we have some nice prints for these windows even though a couple of them are covered up by the register on the inside. And then on this other side here we have some really nice prints on these panel pieces of a nice wreath and ornaments. One slight problem with this set is that this back door here needs to open inward because this arch piece, but then there's a doorknob on it, so it doesn't really open inward, uh, or if you try, that thing will pop off, but not a big deal, you can just leave that off. Inside the toy store, we have a lot of goodies for Christmas buyers. On the wall here, we have a couple of snowboards, a dartboard, balloon, helium tank section. We have a sale rack here up front. This is 20% off. It, it has some um, socks, gloves, and a scarf. We have a guitar that has been marked down from 420 to 360. Then you got the cash register. Someone is buying a Santa hat and a teddy bear, it looks like. There's some gifts that have been wrapped up with their gift wrapping surface behind the counter, a couple more wreaths and lights, and then some hats, and you can buy that elephant mask and stand hat behind them. And then under the stairs, we have a bicycle for sale also. There are a few loose things on this floor, like the snowboards and these helium balloons. The snowboards are resting on shelves and will fall out, but that's not that big of a deal. And the coffee shop on the second floor can be accessed from either one of those staircases. And here we have a nice big counter. Behind that, there is the wall with the coffee machine, espresso, a bunch of treats, and then some storage below that. We also have a dining area with a couple of table and chairs for your customers to sit at, and a little balcony. But the door doesn't quite open all the way. And around that balcony, we have some spotlights showing off the toy store, probably. I guess also the coffee shop. A couple windows trimmed with some greenery and some nice trim work and flags. There's a small staircase that goes up to the third floor, which is a nice apartment. And that is either Santa Claus's apartment or a Santa Claus impersonator apartment, depending on your universe. There is a nice fireplace, a bedside table, a bed. I really like how the rug tiling goes under the bed right there. There's a Christmas tree with some gifts already there and a wreath. And it has a nice balcony here with a table and chair. Some of these stickers do go across multiple bricks like Lego did back in the day, um, but at least for me, I don't take apart my Laws mini sets. Once I build them, they're there, so it doesn't bother me too much. Third floor has some nice windows on this side, some black roof pieces that are, have snow dripping down them, nice clock print with a Merry sticker sign on underneath it. And then you have this big gold weather vane kind of thing, and it's a really nice gold color. I don't know if they have this color in Lego. It's kind of like a shiny matte finish. And the backside of the third floor has some nice big windows along with lots of flowers in the flower beds. And the roof is simple, but there is a hatch. There's not a ladder on the inside, but there is a way to get up. And it even has a little support stick there to keep the hatch up and just a little flower bed. 
In addition to the building, we also have this balloon cart with a helium tank and a couple of balloons already inflated and a minifigure with a elephant head on them. And this set comes with six minifigures. You have a barista and customer, the toy shop owner with that crazy elephant hat, an adult and a child customer, and then a Santa Claus. Just like the other big law sets, you get a nice bounded instruction book and a ton of spare parts. So be sure to let me know what you thought about it in the comments. I really like this set. I just love how it's so packed full of details and I just think it looks really good. It'd be great for any kind of winter decoration set or like a winter village kind of thing. So for anyone following along, you might've noticed I haven't been uploading as much lately. Kind of just gotten tired of making videos, especially the speed builds. They just take so much effort to do and honestly, they haven't been getting too many views. So I think going forward, I'm just gonna focus more on building law sets and reviewing them. That way you can see what's out there. And then of course, keep doing my Lego mock uh, alt builds and that kind of thing. I do have a few more Christmas sets from Laws that I haven't done yet, but since Chinese New Year just happened, I think I'm gonna switch gears to those sets. And some of those look really great. So be sure to check back to see those.